All right, I just picked up a new book. It's called Unlabeled by Mark Echo. In case uh, you don't know who Mark Echo is, Mark Echo is the founder and creator of um, the billion dollar brand uh, Echo Unlimited or Echo. It's the, it's the one with the rhino on it. It's a hip hop culture. I don't know if you followed it. I never wore the the, the stuff or wore, wore that kind of clothes. I was kind of more of a kind of nine inch nails kind of teenager anyway. But I grew up, you know, listening to Tupac. You know, I went from teenage years or from middle school it's kind of like Tupac rap 11.5 RBL posse uh you know west coast bad boys and so whatnot and then you know when I got into my teenage years I I got really into um kind of more rock rap uh, more like rock and metal and stuff like that but alternative but anyways what I want to talk about is kind of what uh how he built his brand and uh, I'm about a third of the way through the book and it has some really good stuff. I can't tell you enough. And one of the best things about it was that, you know, you listen to this guy and he's talking about it. He he started off 12 years old and he asked his dad to buy him an airbrush kit. And he, all he wanted to do was art. He was into graffiti. And he was, this is something he really wanted to do. So he would make shirts. He would make shirts and he would sell them at school. You know, you're a young kid, right? And he did this. He spent thousands and thousands and thousands of hours. You just really think about that for a moment. And, you know, from high school, I mean, from from you know middle school to high school to college, building himself and really trying to create this brand of his, his art, his technique, learning and learning and learning. During this entire process from 12 years old to probably his 20s, 10 years, thousands and thousands of hours input. And you think about how much money did he make? Probably not much. Made pennies. And what makes it crazy is that you, and then, you know, probably, you know, probably near the end of the story, it's going to tell how he made his big deals and whatnot, but it's, it's turning into a progression. It's a progression of his business, of how he created his whole, his billion dollar brand. And he talks about how he talks to Tommy Hilfiger. I heard him on a, he, t- he talks about these little, these cool stories, but you know, he mil- he builds his brand and then he becomes a billion dollar business, right? And a lot of us who hear this story, like me, or maybe someone newer, you, you hear the story like this, and you just you think about this overnight success, or it feels like an overnight success, but then you forget there's there's years, years, sometimes decades of work, of effort, of making no money, not making any real funds, struggling, and then all of a sudden making it. And a lot of us who are having our day jobs, like me as a personal trainer, and we want to build our own brand or build our own business and build our own body, get stronger, get get in shape. You have to, you don't realize that what you did like yesterday, last year, two years ago, 10 years ago was nothing what you're doing now. Whereas a lot of these people, you know, just even, you know, like Bruce Lee, for example, or, uh, you know, even Elliot Hulse, you know, of Strength Camp, you know, his, his, uh, his story. And even the, the twins, you know, the, the, uh, on YouTube. They spent years building their craft. They spent years, years and years building themselves up and creating this brand for themselves. I mean, some got there faster than others, but we take for granted how hard these people work. We forget how much work goes into building a business. Now, take this analogy into the human body and building yourself up to have a big deadlift and get super strong and jacked and tan, like Mark Bell says. Even Mark Bell, how long, how many times has he deadlifted? I mean, if you... You know, he's all, he's 40, I think, or almost 40. How many times has he deadlifted versus I've deadlifted? I've only been deadlifting really regularly for a little over a year. You know, I've made some pretty good progress. And I'm really proud of it. But then he's had decades of powerlifting and, and bodybuilding type workouts and working out with a lot of different high-level athletes. Just, just his experience, you know, in the WWE and wrestling and whatnot. He got to a point, well... You know, you just got to think about how much work he's put in or how much time he's put in into his single craft, which I've seen older videos of Mark Bell, him talking about, you know, about the deadlift and his raps. And you and before his newer, his older videos, his raps weren't nearly as good. His speaking wasn't nearly as good. It is now. And it's over a process. He's gotten better and better and better. Just like with Elliot Hulse. If you look at all of Elliot Hulse's stuff, some of it was not very good. Uh, in my opinion, I've seen all this stuff. He sounds really good on camera, but even his kind of maybe stuff he made maybe a year and a half ago, two years ago, he's kind of a little bit more robotic. He's less comfortable, but he's still good. It doesn't change anything. But now he's like super comfortable. He's super confident. He's just like kind of more of himself. Part of it's probably because of age. Part of it's part of uh, different things like confidence. And, you know, I want to get this 600 pound deadlift 
and this and maybe even go up to 700 pounds and i look at you know candido uh, candido training hq i think it's called look him up he's he's got some good stuff too this kid's like in his 20s i think and he's 180 pounds he just pulls he just rips 600 pounds off the ground of course these people are gifted athletes and they're amazing in their own right but i mean these guys all these people i mentioned you know whether it be from business uh you know um you know, Mark Echo, or, or even, you know, Sean Puffy Combs, he, he mentions him in, in the book. Uh, you, you talk about Mark Bell, um, Candido, uh, just, you know, young, old, doesn't matter. They've put in a significant amount of hours and hours and hours of hard work. And they studied their craft and they got good at it. And one of the things that makes people able to accomplish great things with their body, with their business, with their life, it's a passion for whatever it is they're doing. And they put hours not expecting anything in real return. Only that they love what they're doing and they care about what they're doing and they know something of what they're doing is really, really important. And that's kind of what my YouTube channel is about and what I'm doing with my blogging and making these videos and I'm taking the time outside of my work to really build my channel and do other things that mean a lot to me. And in this case, you know, it's a deadlift. It's about fitness. It's about helping people get in better shape, get stronger. It's about sharing my perspective on improving yourself through strength and through fitness because that's my primary kind of my primary uh, uh, road. But my point is, is that, look, anyone you see who's a success puts in thousands and thousands and thousands of hours. You know, I remember hearing uh, this thing about michelangelo who did the sistine chapel he's he damaged his eyes he damaged his he damaged his body to paint that thing and part of the magic in what he did he said you know if you knew how hard i worked to do it it would kind of take away the magic and that's kind of applies to all superstars lady gaga britney spears all these these artists and even though they, you know, the negative or positive, it doesn't matter. You just have to understand and remember that there's hours and hours and hours and years and years and sometimes decades of work that go into accomplishing and making it. And kind of what I want to share with you, whether you're trying to get a ripped six pack or get a big deadlift or get super strong or transform yourself, you got to remember that it's going to take a while. And whatever it is you're doing, you need to have drive and you need to love whatever it is you're doing. So whatever you're trying to do with your body, you need to learn to love it. And you know, not everyone likes exercise. I get it. I loves fitness, you know, because my audience will vary. And sometimes you're not motivated to work out. But you got to remember that you got to love what you're doing. And, you know, for me, it just happens to be the deadlift. I love deadlifting. It's something I've gotten good at. I've gotten good at for myself. And you know what? I'm obsessed with it. And I just, that's all. I'm, I'm excited throughout the week. I don't like squats that much. I don't even like bench press that much. Um, when you compare it to the deadlift. And why is that? It's just something that I love. And, and, and it's something that's kind of helping me stay motivated in my fitness and stay motivated to make these videos. It's something for me to focus my energy in because I'm passionate about it. And what I want to tell you, the viewer listening to my video, is whatever you want to do, fitness, body, business, life, career, family, relationships, it's going to take years. It's going to take thousands of hours. How about that? Thousands of hours of hard work. And you're going to learn it by doing it. You're not going to learn it in a book. I mean, you'll get inspiration from a book and a podcast and a story. That's what like me. But you're going to learn it. You're going to learn it by doing. So take this message. Just want to share it. And I'm out.